What's up guys, it's Dominic Sofarda, and today we're going to be learning about two different ways we can create separation, whether that's off the dribble or through contact. Let's get Our first way of creating separation is going to be through contact. So if the defender's playing up high on us, and he's pressuring us, a good way to get him off of us is to absorb contact and to get off of him. So absorbing contact is going to create the space. So if my defender's on me, that's creating contact. Or whether I go to the rim, and bump up for a strong finish, I'm creating contact, and that's going to create space for me to get a layup at the rim. Or whether that may be you're changing speed, going downhill, and your defender beats you. If your defender beats you to a spot, you can use your shoulder or your chest to use that, that like push off. Not extending your arm, but using your your strength to move the ball out the way. It's another uh, it's another way to create space. And you know, people are just like like in like just really pressuring you a lot. So if people are pressuring you, whether you make a dumb move or whatever, don't be afraid to go away from them because that's not that's not going to get you where you want. So when you when you Move or two, use your offense. That's a way of reading and absorbing contact. So using your offense will get you to where you want to go. Because if I'm driving, if I'm driving to the rim, I don't want to drive to them. So, for it's important to keep on you know what I mean? I want to make a move, get contact with them, you can step in front of them to absorb even more contact, to keep them behind me, so I can directly to the rim to make plays. Our second way of creating separation is going to be off the dribble. And this one is a little different from the first one of using contact to create separation. So this one we're actually going to move away from our defender. We're trying to get away from our defender. So if our defender's here, I'm trying to bounce off of him or step away from him or the dribble. This is separation. I'm creating separation off the dribble. It's not, it's not like I'm bumping him and creating space. So this is different. You're trying to actually get away from it. So this is good for get, trying to get your shot off, whatever you're doing, whether you want to get to the rim. The defender's on you, you can really bounce. It's good to bounce because your defender's going to have to come approach you, or you can just shoot it in the game. When your, your defender approaches you, you can make a move to go by. And the big reason why this is actually really good is this will actually be really good for for guards who get pressed a lot. So if I'm gonna find out how many games and I see a double team, I'm, I'm not gonna want to absorb contact with a double team. That's not a good, very smart idea. It's probably gonna lead to a turnover. So if I see a double team or something, I can bounce off and create space. So with the class, I can to go around the court and slip my uh, defense.
What's up guys, hope you like this workout. Two ways to create space off the dribble, whether that's through contact or getting away from space. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys, what type of workouts you guys want me to do next.